Why do the people who advocate for men's rights always do it with a truckload of misogyny? Because they don't actually care about men's rights. Most of these men's rights folks are just misogynists looking to argue with women. They don't give a damn about men's struggles because those same men's mental health matters folks are the same ones who are the first to laugh at male SA victims. The first to put down gay queer men. The first to enforce toxic masculinity. Etc. They just don't care. They never did. Because it's never really about men's rights. Not trying to discredit this. Because truthfully, most places I've tried to find healthy examples of men's rights ended up being insul holes. But our men's lib has been mostly nice to be a part of as a woman. I've seen the occasional bad post but overall it talks about healthy masculinity. And joining women on issues rather than discrediting them. They believe it's a game with only one possible winner. They think it's not about treating women as equal. But treating men as inferior. They consider the disrespect many men show women to be a right that men deserve. Because it's the most effective branding misogynists could come up with. Because they don't really care if they did. They would be opening men housing for domestic abuse or starting a lawyer group specializing in men. Getting custody. In Siad they just want to bring women down. I remember when I heard about MRA groups back like 15 years ago. I thought they were a joke. I remember looking at websites that claimed to be about protecting men but just had a whole bunch of stuff about how women should be dominated, owned, assaulted, etc. and thought nobody could possibly be that blatantly misogynistic and evil. Boy was I fucking wrong. Yes. Like how men say men should be able to give up all rights to a child they don't want to support or are parent. The arguments are all completely self-centered. Aggressive violent and so angry against women. Because they aren't actually instead in men's rights. I joined a men's rights sub for about six months a few years ago. Most of the men were clueless about how they were deeply complicit in the troubles they had with their ex-wives. However, I was pleasantly surprised by a minority of men that were rational and just wanted to have 50-50 custody to see their kids. These men also called out the misogyny quite often. I expected it to be a 100 shit show. But it turned out to be a 95 shit show. Equal rights for all citizens equally seems like a solution equal laws. Enforced equally isn't happening now or in the past society will either accept this in the United States or our country will never be a democracy. Furthermore, until this century men were still are in my opinion taught that their opinion should be the deciding factor and whenever it is not the deciding factor they're crazy pissed about it and blame women for not bowing down because they're arguing from a dishonest premise 99.9 .9 of the time winking face it's about male supremacy not equality I would be so disappointed if I ever found out one of my friends was a men's rights advocate Honestly the men's rights crowd sounds a lot like all lives matter as the response to BLM. Similar analogue of ignoring the group that's being set on fire in the moment because they have a paper cut they need a superman band-aid for. I often think it's because those who do don't fully understand the struggles women went through to get the vote. They see it very black and white if women have rights. If XYZ minority have rights, they should automatically have them too. And instead of developing an understanding of precisely what they want, focusing on key issues such as men's mental health, they seem to lump everything together and don't define what they're seeking.
because, drum roll please, they think that men have a right to misogyny, that they're entitled to treat women and children, especially girl children like dirt, to them, that's part of being a man, a manly man, a strong man, not some wimpy woke touchy feely man, most simply, because they're effin idiots who think anything like the golden rule is soft. Because they don't actually care. If they did they'd acknowledge how 90 of abuse and murder against men is committed by other men. How men are killing themselves at such high rates because they feel they can't talk about their emotions to other men. Weird how they belittle women's friendships while not being able to vent in theirs. Weird how they even manage to blame that on women. Nah. Who cares about that let's talk about the evil woman all day long and make no change. Because they don't realize that feminism also stands against misandry and promotes gender equality. Because misogynists are the only ones who think men's rights need advocating. What rights exactly do men feel are being threatened? Just curious because seems like they have more than everyone else because they're not interested in equal rights. They just hate women. They blame women for all their problems partly so they can pretend they have no agency and so they have an excuse not to even try and do anything for men. That's why so many of them expect women to sort out their problems for them. Because MRAs are a reactionary movement against feminism. Reactionaries try to subvert their target's rhetorical tools and UNO reverse them. Also I just call them male issues instead of men's rights. Like, the underservice male essay victims that's a male issue to me. So that's what I talk about the most. Men's rights relies entirely on taking rights away from women. Because they'd rather focus on their right to abuse women instead of baby boy's right to not be sad. With permanent damage. And forced into war with the draft. Because they're arguing in bad faith. They're trying to discredit feminism by using men's advocacy. They're disgusting. Manipulative exploitative creatures that as far as I'm concerned should be tried criminally. Fuck them. Because men's rights and misogyny are the same thing. Because men's rights is a response to men being butthurt that people are challenging the privileges that allow them to trample over everyone else to get what they want. Is this post and much of this sub not exactly the same thing, but genders reversed? The perfect question to summon all the feminists and gender benders. They don't. Our men's lib is not drowning in misogyny. It's just that a lot of people pretend to advocate for men's rights in order to justify their misogyny. Because these men believe their rights involve owning women as property. Because they think women's rights are somehow eroding their rights as men. And they might be right. If what is important to them is being able to beat or rape their wife. Financially control her. Limit her freedom of movement. And give her no control over her own reproduction. They also absolutely do not want to compete against women in the workplace. Or want women making political decisions for them. So the men that are harping on about men's rights are upset that women now have basic human rights. They preferred things before.